Hi everybody, it's Trish here from Pinky's Farm. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for Hashtag Friday Sews. Oh, I sound kind of like Michelle. I should have done the boop boop. Anyways, it's Friday. I don't have a lot to report, but I'll share what little I do have for you. And, you know, it might be scorching hot outside, but I found this today. This is one of those little spice sachet things. Pumpkin spice. I am so ready for fall. I know it's still in the middle of summer, but I don't care. I can sniff it and pretend like it's fall and turn the AC on super cold. That's what I'm doing. Anyways, I went to Hobby Lobby today because I wanted to get knobs for my ironing station, which I hope to have completed by the next Friday sews. It's 99.9% .9 complete. In fact, I have painted the whole thing. I went to Hobby Lobby today to get knobs for the front of the cabinets. Ended up buying a bunch of other crap, but I did get the knobs. And I upholstered the top and I was shot the screws on one end. They were perfect. Went to shoot screws on the other end. My stupid battery died on my drill. So I went and got another drill and got another screw. Went to drive that in and it bent the thing all up and things just went you know to heck in a hand basket real fast my husband was standing along there going this doesn't sound good what are you and i'm like oh i can't get this screw to go in right and it's crooked and he's like no 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 let me do it so hell i'm gonna let him do it i mean be careful what you wish for you know if you want to do it i'll let you do the whole job so anyway he's going to finish that up along with a huge list of honeydews that he has already got to get finished today. He took the day off and like, I've got him working his butt off the whole day. Go me. Anyways, while I was at Hobby Lobby, of course I had to cruise through the fabric and the patterns. And I don't know what struck me, but about three patterns. Cause I haven't sewn anything. All I've done is bought fabric and patterns, but you know, I haven't put them together. I mean, <laughs> What's wrong with me? I envision myself making these and I can picture it with the fabric and the whole thing, da da da. And then I get home and what I wanna do? I wanna sit in the hammock. I mean, somebody needs to slap me. Anyways, I did buy three patterns. I got New Look 6500 and I like this pattern. It's not a new pattern, but I like the cut of the shoulders on this because they're very narrow and I have narrow shoulders and things are always falling off the top of there. And so I thought that would be a cute one. It's got patch pockets. You can do a sleeve. Be cute and just a little cotton of some kind. Then I got McCall's 8281. This is a new pattern I can tell by the artwork. This is how, this is the artwork of all their new patterns. And when I saw this dress that's on the cover, I just, it screamed gauze to me. It's like, I have to make something out of gauze because that just looks like a gauze dress. Anyway, there's the line drawings. Pretty simple. None of these look difficult at all. In fact, this one says easy on it. So I'm always a fan of easy things. But in this one, I just fell in love with this little tunic outfit. I think that would be so flattering. And um, just, you know, with the pants, you could still wear it in the summer, especially if you made it like out of linen or something. It would be so cute. And then in the fall, just put a cardi over it. But one of these shoulders has little buttons on it, which I thought was a really cute. You can't really see them on the pattern, but it was just a really cute little extra little what do you call that feature it's a feature so anyways i got three patterns there's piles of fabric everywhere on every shelf on every surface and um you know sometimes you need to put the patterns and the fabric together and just go for it so i've got to do it y'all i've got to break the cycle and just sew something i've been watching jen from today in jen's sewing room who is my sewing bff and she's just been like a factory this week, cranking out stuff, dresses, t-shirts, all this stuff she's making, bunch of stuff for her daughter. And I'm like, I'll have whatever she's having. 
because whatever she's having is giving her lots of energy. So maybe I need to be popping some vitamins or something. While I was at Hobby Lobby, I did pick up this Snoopy fabric. Isn't it cute? It's Thanksgiving Snoopy. And they got their little pilgrim hats on and they got the turkey and pie and all that cute stuff. It's so cute. And I've just made a little drawstring bag. So that's the extent of my actual sewing is like, what's that, about four seams? Uh, I made a little drawstring bag. And this is going in the birthday present of my sewing, I'm not my sewing BFF, just my regular best friend who lives in North Carolina. I have so many BFFs. It's just like, oh, I got one for this. I got one for that. You know, and, yeah, I'd love to get them all together. But anywho, her birthday is coming in September. She is a Snoopy freak. Okay. And so I saw this and I'm like that. I need to make a bag to go in her as part of her present. I have a giant container over here full of stuff for her. And I'm going to add this to it. And in it, I put some cute little fall napkins, some cute little fall plates. Get around there. How does it go like that? Fall plates. And these cute little sprinkles that look like fall leaves. I thought those were so cute. She's a really good baker, so I think that she will enjoy those. She's always making like cupcakes for her grandkids and stuff. So this is just one of many presents that's going in her container. And the container that I'm putting it in is actually a vintage Snoopy suitcase. So she's going to flip when she sees that. So that'll be fun. That's going to go in the mail here in September, which, you know, is just right around the corner. So come on, fall. Mm. Yes, pumpkin spice and cinnamon. Oh, yeah. I also have one of those Glade plugins in my wall in here. And it's got fall pumpkin spice in it too. So that's gonna be like my perfume for the rest of the summer. Looking forward to cool weather. Um, what else did I do? Nothing. I was down for a few days. We'll just get into life. I was down and out for a few days because I hurt my back. And you know, when you get old, like you can just do the same thing you did yesterday, but then today, you know, a shooting pain goes through your back. And so that's what happened to me. I was outside feeding the chickens like I do every morning and I just turned funny and I just had a stabbing pain in my back. And so I don't know if you want to say unfortunately, but regardless, I had to lay in the hammock a lot because when I was sitting up straight, it hurt to use the core of my body just hurt. And um, sitting on the couch hurt. Sitting in the, a regular chair hurt. The only time it did not stab me was when I was horizontal in the hammock, swinging back and forth with a fan blowing on my face. So that's what I did. I just spent a lot of time on the hammock looking at y'all's videos while just giving my back a rest. So that kept me from one of my Zoom calls. I did have my other Zoom call um, on Wednesday and I got to talk with Jen from Today and Jen Sewing Room, Carol from Sew Carol, and Adam from Adam Sews. And we just had a wonderful visit. Um, as always, it's just a pleasure talking to them always. And um, just did some catch up and looked at what everybody was working on. What else has been going on? Hmm. Nothing. Nothing else going on. I'm just trying to finish that ironing station, make something so I can use the ironing station, put fabric, put fabric and patterns together and make something that I can show you on Friday. Saturday, I have to take a friend to Joanne's. Oh, bummer, right? I mean, just add more fabric to the pile. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be adding more fabric to the pile because there's no way I'm going into Joanne's and not buying something for me. It's just, it's not possible, people. It's just not going to happen. I, you know, I, I don't have that kind of strength. So, um, I'm not going to fight that. I'm just going to go enjoy it. Um, so, I'm going there Saturday. Sunday is the day that my son and I, he's 34, single dad. And um, 
we on Sundays, we have an adventure day. It, we have at least one adventure day every week. Usually it's on Sunday. Sometimes it's on Saturday. Last week was Saturday, but it's been awesome because we haven't always been as close as I would like because he had a lot going on in his life and sometimes it wasn't a lifestyle that I approved of. And then there was a girl that came into his life who was really high drama and she kind of ran all of the family off. We were afraid of her. She was scary. But that's gone. Thank God. That's over with. And, you know, we've just reconnected. And so it's really nice because sometimes we go to church on Sunday and sometimes we just take an adventure and go somewhere. So um, this Sunday, we're going to the hydroponic plant store not plant store, the plant hydroponic supply store. And he's gonna help me transition a bunch of my house plants and the stuff that's on my back porch over from dirt to hydroponic. So I'm gonna go buy all the supplies and he's gonna help me get that set up. And I'm gonna give him a bunch of plant cuttings because he loves to garden. He's a really good gardener. And um, he, he has a nicer garden than I do and I live on a farm. And that's pretty sad. But um, he came by that honestly. My dad was a master gardener when he was alive. And, you know, Casey's just picked up. He's just, it comes naturally to him. So, you know, we've been eating out of his garden. And um, so um, he's going to help me with mine. So it's going to be awesome. And that'll be a fun time. The kids went back to school. So my grandson is back in school. So no more Camp Nina. Um, I can have my weekdays. Maybe that will help me get some more sewing done because when I have him, it pretty much blows the day for getting any projects started. So, hmm, is that all? I guess that's all. This is the highlight of my week right here. Boop. Glad to be well from my sore back, ready to get back to the sewing machine and actually do something. So, how many times am I going to say that? the same thing differently. Anyways, you know what? Thank you guys for watching. I always enjoy hanging out with you guys in the comments. Y'all are so complimentary and so nice, and I just, I appreciate you so much. So be sure and go and watch all of the Hashtag Friday Sewers. There's so much good content out there, and um, we hope that if you're not including content on Friday Sews that you will start doing it because we're trying to grow this community. So please go ahead and like and subscribe and then build your own channel. That's what we really want. Okay, guys, it's been great talking to you. Have a good week. Sayonara.